Good morning. My name is John Jomue, and uh, I am happy to be moderating today's uh, policy dialogue on behalf of the Africa Center for Open Governance, or AFRICOG, as it's more commonly known. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, welcome you to this uh, policy dialogue on security and to thank you very much for uh, finding the time and braving the traffic to be here um, on time so that we can begin together and have a morning of conversations about issues that are um, of critical concern to all of us uh, at this time. Uh, we are all aware um, about what has been happening in Kenya over the last uh, few months with regard to um, security issues or other insecurity. Going back to the Westgate attack of September last year, we've had several um, attacks, uh, gun attacks, grenade attacks, um, improvised um, explosive devices um, that have uh, been left in places that have harmed uh, the general public. Um, but in addition to that, we know that the general state of security in Kenya um, has been seriously uh, a matter for concern. We've um, had conflicts, intra-ethnic conflicts going on in various places around the country. Um, we've also had uh, po opinion polls uh, that show that a lot of Kenyans are feeling very insecure. <coughs> And of course, that worries um, us because security is uh, a, a fundamental human right. Uh, but also <clears throat> the knock-on effects on other aspects of our way of life and um, particularly the economy uh, have not yet been quantified in terms of um, people uh, being scared to leave their homes, to travel in public transport, to go out and shop and enjoy themselves, or even longer term issues such as um, investment or tourism, are all things that, uh, if left unattended, uh, are going to have um, wide ranging consequences on our country. And so we thought that um, <clears throat> we should uh, convene this forum uh, for us to have a conversation about the state of insecurity um, and uh, what is happening in terms of the response of the state, in terms of uh, how safe we feel, but also more importantly in terms of contributing uh, policy recommendations uh, to um, decision makers uh, to help uh, secure our country and the public better. Africa Center for Open Governance, or AFRICOG, is an NGO that um, focuses on doing cutting edge research to be able to create awareness and to empower the public to hold uh, duty bearers accountable for good governance. Um, as you sit here, you obviously know what has happened in the last, um, since San Saturday when we had the two attacks in Mombasa, two, two blasts in Mombasa. And then a, a day or two later when we had uh, the blast on Thika Road. And uh, one wonders uh, about the responses that we've, we've got. We've had the government responding in various ways, from uh, the massive security swoop in Isli and the screening uh, that has uh, been done uh, in order to, as the government tells us, uh, identify uh, people who are in the country illegally. We've also um, had other responses, such as the arrest of the Matatu drivers and, and conductors uh, who were taken to court the other day for failing to uh, screen passengers and so on. But the question is, are these responses adequate? Those of you who, uh, like me, have been watching the American series uh, Scandal uh, may be acquainted with the very intense character of uh, Olivia Pope, played by Kerry Washington. 
And one thing that Olivia Pope likes to say, it's handled, or it's being handled. And when Olivia Pope tells you it's handled, you know it is being handled. And whatever it is, she will dig until she finds the root causes of whatever it is. And sometimes I just wonder, is our security or insecurity around the country being handled? And is the security apparatus in charge in such a way that, we make, that makes us feel safe? The uh, experts we've gathered today will help us in having this discussion. And all of you here uh, will also weigh in on what you think, what your concerns are, what your comments are, and what you think should go into our final recommendations. And so we've assembled, and I'd like to introduce our experts before I call Gladwell to give the opening remarks. I'd like to introduce our experts uh, so that uh, for continuity's sake, I don't have to come back here uh, uh, until the plenary later. Uh, after Gladwell makes her opening remarks, uh, Gladwell Otieno is obviously, of course, the uh, executive director of AFRICOG, the Op Africa Center for Open Governance. After Gladwell makes her opening remarks, we shall have Eva uh, Ayera <coughs> uh, from the Center for Human Rights and Policy Studies. Eva is uh, a senior researcher in security, on security issues. She's also a lawyer and gender expert. Uh, we are expecting Otsieno Namwaya from Human Rights Watch. Um, he's not yet here, but we believe he'll be here, so we may have to juggle the program a bit. Um, and then after that, we will have Godwin Murunga um, from the Africa Cent uh, Leadership Center. He's actually the di uh, acting director for the Africa Leadership Center and senior research fellow for IDDS at the University of Nairobi. And then we will have uh, uh, Simiyu Werunga, uh, former Captain Simiyu Werunga, um, who is the director of the African Center for S Security and Strategic Studies and also a member of the Nyumbakumi Task Force. Finally, we will have George Kegoro, uh, of the International Commission of Jurists. Um, these experts will lead us in, the in those conversations uh, from the challenge of insecurity, understanding the key drivers of Kenya's endemic and emergent security threats, uh, which Eva will help us to unpack. Um, Otieno is going to share uh, about the Human Rights Watch investigation report that was recently launched into the violence that took place in Western Kenya last year. And Godwin will talk about the response of the state uh, to the uh, uh, endemic and rampant insecurity that is currently uh, happening around. Uh, and will identify the prospects and problems about that response. And uh, Captain Merunga will talk about the unfulfilled promise of the security sector reform uh, and its impact upon uh, the state of security in the country. Uh, we've also asked him to uh, weigh in on Kenya's intervention in Somalia and its impact on security within Kenya. And finally, George Kegoro will talk about the balance between security and human rights. Are they allies or antagonists in the service of promoting democratic governance? With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once again, and I'd like to invite Gladwell Otieno to give her opening remarks. Thank you.